Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I'll show you to fix the issue where your Samsung phone is acting unresponsive and weird. And of course, of course, this doesn't apply to any particular Samsung phone. It's a general tutorial. So, of course, as long as it's a Samsung phone, this is something that we have realized that always happens. So, for example, recently I had a friend and that friend had a phone. He was going to show me something in the gallery, but of course... As soon as the person um, went to the apps, like here, and to look at all the apps, he had it in the scroll format. As soon as he was trying to scroll down, mine scrolls horizontally, the, the um, screen would scroll, but it would lag, right? And it would lag each time. So each time he was trying to scroll between to find the app, he saw the app, but of course it would um, not transition fully. So for example, I can freely move back and forth. He was unable to as the phone would lag considerably and of course when he finally got to the app and click the app or double tap the app what would happen is that the app would not open it would jitter a bit but will not open and the device itself was unresponsive you could barely make a call or do anything else on the device as it became very slow and um, unresponsive all right so i'm gonna show you what i did to fix that so in um, said case here's what you do um, the first thing you should do is note that if you have your phone on for a uh, months and you do not reboot um, that causes the device to work very slowly so go ahead and of course go to the power menu and of course do a restart or a power off as soon as the device comes back up you'll realize it is refresh and it will start responding and become responsive again now of course that alone will not work um, it will give it um, free up the device a bit but in addition you can do other things to speed it up as well to um, allow it to work um, perfectly but go to settings um, once you're in settings, look for the device key or option. Um, it's built into your device to make sure that your device um, works. It's called battery and device key and latest updates so would go there. Um, mine, it should give you a score out of 100. Mine says it's good. But for you, it should show a score. I think um, the higher the better, the lower the worse. So go ahead and hit optimize now to clean up the device. Once you do that, the device again should start working fine. Next, free up space. Find any apps on your device, such as large games or something that you're not playing. That's just hogging memory. Uh, you need free space, so go ahead and um, uninstall some of those. Simply find an app, any app at all, that's not um, in alignment with what you want. And long press. And of course, you have the option to uninstall. Another thing to do as well would be, guys, to go to your gallery and delete any duplicate photos and unnecessary pictures. So you can actually go there and delete those. Once you do, uh, for good measure, just reboot again. And of course your device should start working fine and it's a good practice at least once per week or at least twice per month depending on the speed of your device to do a reboot for no reason at all simply reboot just to refresh the device all right so that's the tips i have to give works for the newest devices such as the s 2 ultra all the way to all the past devices after all these are just computers um, in your pocket all right so ricardo from blog tech tips and until next time bye